Hey guys, Dimitri here. As you know me, I have been in the roofing business for the last four years. I've been using drones for my roofing business for three years. And in this video, I will show you everything I do with the drones, how I use them, and I'll give you a few tips how you can use drones for your roofing company. Drone industry have changed dramatically in the last three, four years. I think they say it's $3.6 billion industry right now. And um, what I have here is two latest DJI creation. I'm a big fan of DJI drones. I've tried a few others, but I can show you. So I have a little bag pretty much everywhere I go, even on the planes. When I go on an airplane, uh, I just take this bag with me to like nobody ever stopped me. Actually have, look at this, I have my big lens camera usually actually two or three cameras but isn't it insane guys look i have two freaking drones i have you know some gopros and things like that but look at the size of it i mean look at the size it's you know you can fit it in the pocket if you want absolutely amazing this is by far number one drone i would use for any purposes but you know every roofer should have it in the car and i'll explain why and then there's this little baby Cost just 500 bucks. Uh, I still, it's the first time I'm gonna try it today. I'm not very impressed with it. I'm impressed with the price, $500. If it can do what I need it to do, I'm all right with it. This is thousand bucks versus $500. The size of it, uh, these legs are not foldable. So it's still pretty, you know, it's almost the same size. So these two guys, DJI uh, Spark and DJI uh, Mavic Pro, I've been using this already, I already crashed one, uh, trying to fly it in my office between the doors. So I can't use that tomorrow. You just navigated towards the door and um, fell down, so this is actually a replacement. But this one here, it's really nice, it's cheaper version. I'm gonna try it today, see if it can do what this guy can do. And uh, like I said, this is by far the best I've seen. Size-wise, it's a little bit smaller, but it's uh, also a little bit wider. So very impressed with this one and see if this uh, worth saving half of the cost of Mavic. So first thing first, guys, I would say this. When you use the drones, like a lot of people think immediately roofers using drones is probably something with inspection absolutely yes you can definitely use drones for inspection if you have tall house three story four story or it's two piece definitely it's a 4k camera you can fly it all the way to the top you can make nice nice shots um, it's a great 4k camera so you can you know your pixels are amazing you can make picture as big as you want. You can send it to your client. You can see those chimney or whatever accessory, even hail damage. But believe it or not, only two, 3% of everything I've done with a drone actually relates to roof inspections. Majority of the stuff that I do is pure marketing. It's before and after pictures because you'll get amazing shots at amazing angles that you can't do from the ground. And people love it. Your website guy, will ask you, hey, can you please give me some pictures so I can put on the website? And uh, your Facebook profile, your social media presence, everywhere, you, if you can show off your job, please do. And uh, drones do amazing job doing before and after shots that you wouldn't able to do any other way because we're here in this job and I'm gonna show you some footage I'm gonna shoot with my drone. So that's number one. And number two, and I think it's one of the best uh, use of the drone that nobody using, at least I don't know a lot of people. It's a pure marketing, but you, you can ask your people who you work for pretty much brag about your jobs on your behalf. Think about it. I would come to the job site like this and I would film in the beginning or at the end. I would make short YouTube video. Honestly, guys, it took me one, two, three hours. I would put a tag, OC duration, driftwood, whatever. I would make a really nice clip out of it. And guess what? Then I would go 
to social media, find my client and maybe share it with him or send him a link and say, hey, thanks for choosing us, here's the clip from the job. Guess what's gonna happen next? Next Friday night, this homeowner goes out with his friends. He just spent $15,000 on the roof. Guys asking him, hey, what did you do last week? Oh, I replaced the roof. Oh, by the way, I have something to show. Now he has something to show for. Like, people spend 15,000, when you spend $15,000 on a car, you know, you at least have a car. You spend $15,000 on the roof, you have nothing to show for. Now, if I send you a link to YouTube, to my YouTube channel and say, uh, this is your job, this is what we did, looks great, thanks so much, you know, for choosing us, but Here's the pictures or video. Now, your homeowner will be brag, bragging about the work you did for him because now he's proud. Now he looks good, like, hey guys, I did $15,000 roof. Look how cool it looks. And you can get a referral from it. So that's my number one use personally in marketing. Forget about coolness. Forget about neighbors who would come and see who is this guy who's flying drone in our neighborhood. All of that is also there. But that single piece, it's worth going and investing in your own drone and start flying it. It's fun, it's a tool, it's not a toy, but it gets attention you need, it gets referrals you might need, and it gives you tools to have your customers talk about your work. Thank you guys, and I'll show you what I do here.